Hi, my name is Paulie Hart and this is AJ. And we're going to be demonstrating Empires and Generals to you. And what you need when you first start is you need your Empires and Generals deck, some scratch paper, a pen, two full sets of dies, and counters. Just kidding. Really what you need are just the cards. Isn't that awesome? Just the cards. So here we have, I have the Roman Republic, the Egyptian Empire. And we're going to go ahead and open them up. These are the prepackaged decks. These are not the build from home decks. Um, so you have a list of everything you need on the back. And I've got my six non-playing cards on top. I'm going to go ahead and set them right here. And then I've got my resource cards. Set them here. And I've got my playing cards. I'm going to set them here. I'm going to shuffle everything. Fortunately for you, this is all pre-shuffled. So after we've shuffled, you want to have your opponent cut the deck, both decks. by saying what type of game you're going to play. We're going to play a quick game. That's three points. Let's so we'll set that up real quick. Cultural health. Cultural we have a card on the starting line. It says starting health right in the middle. You can go up or down. As you get points or lose points. Also with this you have the battle map, instructions, the turn phase chart, and your top card, your instruction card, along with the attack resolution, which is very important. Declare what type of game you're going to play. Quick game. Quick game. And I'm going to draw one, two, three, four, five, five resources, and two playing cards. I'm going to do six resources and one playing card. All right, and then you uh, you can play Pinochle, or you can play Tic-Tac-Toe, or flip a coin, flip a coin, fight to the death, something, to, something to determine who goes first. So why don't you go first? All right, all right. I already lost right. earlier. <laughs> I will. Uh, I will play this turn. So get a, another resource card. So on the turn phase chart, AJ is drawing first, and then he moves to his harvest phase. And I will put down my resources so I know what I am working with. Put some down on top of one another with the bottom part that is, I believe, unique to Empires and Generals. Whereas the rest of the <coughs> games that I've played, you have to kind of spread the cards out everywhere. But I cannot play what I have at the moment, so we will go. We can't really do anything with the harvest. We can't really do anything in our kingdom phase to put anything down. So we'll go ahead and move on. Can't attack. We don't have anything to attack with. And we will resolve. So it will be Paul's turn. Okay, so you skipped kingdom phase, army phase, and attack phase. Move right into resolve. All right, I'm going to go ahead and draw. And I'm going to draw playing card. <coughs> Play my resources. I have three iron, one wood, and two salt. Put that there. Um, I've got veteran hunter. Veteran hunter. Uh, I don't have anything for kingdom phase. Sorry. Veteran Hunter, uh, he's a three cost unaffiliated soldier with a five strength and three life. And he has no effects and no abilities. So I'm going to go ahead and put him out there because I've got three. And I'm done. He's in my war camp. All right, I'll go ahead and draw another resource, see if I can get something going here. Got a stone. So you got three stone, one water, one food. Yep. And I will go ahead and play one of my my abandoned village, which lets me gain four resources of my choosing for this turn, and then after after that, I'll I have to discard at the end of the resolve phase. So I will go ahead and get four water, so I can play the Scorpion King. Ah, the general. And uh, go into the uh, the attack phase, and I will go ahead. Interesting to note, the Scorpion he has no pull. He's a general Egyptian army. He's a three strength and eight life. Uh, but pull is when something comes out, it can't attack for that first turn, unless it says it suffers no pull or it's a general. So he's attacking me. Uh, I can choose. Uh, because there's nothing in the battlefield, he's attacking straight from the battlefield. He's bringing it to the battlefield. He's attacking. He has a three against my three. I have a five against his eight. 
His three doesn't beat my threes, which means I can't die. My five doesn't beat his eight, which means he doesn't die either. It's a draw. So it's a draw. So he brings him out to attack and we'll enter the resolve phase. Discard that because that's over with now. And I'm resolved. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and right now, before anything, I'm going to play a tactics card. Uh, Roots of Romulus. Entice a general from an opponent. This new general replaces your own if you have one in play. Replace, replace general is discarded. That opponent's soldiers retreat to war camp immediately. I'm going to go ahead and play that. Frowny face. Yes. And I'm going to go ahead and discard that. And uh, Now I'm going to go ahead and play Crucifixion. Place the card placed in front of you of your draw pile. Take your current general and place them on top of Crucifixion. The number of turns crucified is the number of life printed on the card and whether generals may be played during this time. If they are already in play, discard them. You may not attack and no one may attack you for the turns equal to the amount of life the general has. Playing Crucifixion serves as one turn. Okay, at your resolve phase, at the end of the turn, general's been crucified. So, he cannot attack me uh, for eight turns. Start being crucified. And uh, now I'm going to be in my turn. <laughs> now that I've completely um, stole his general and made myself safe. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. And I've got Treyari for a five. I'm going to go ahead and play it. And I'm done. Okay. I will draw a playing card. I cannot play this at the moment. So I've got nothing playable, so I am resolved. All right. Oops. Sorry. Next card's Barbarian. You want me to put it on the bottom? Alright. Uh, power of Persuasion. I'm going to go ahead and play that. And for five, I'm done. Okay. Oh, seven. Crucifixion is a rare card, which means you can only have one of them in your hand. Can't do anything still with that, so I am resolved. Alright. Drawing Barbarian. He's a four, unaffiliated. Go ahead and play him. Um, Six, done. So I can play your general. And I will go ahead and uh, attack. You can't. Oh, the increase of That's right. Okay. So then I am resolved. I can do it. Okay. I'm going to draw. This is a five on this turn. I'm going to play. I can't play this one yet. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, during one harvest phase, sacrifice one soldier card. Production of one resource is doubled for that harvest phase. So I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice Barbarian. And then it means I get double. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and discard Hispania, which means I get, instead of two lumber, I get four lumber. Discard that, which means I can bring out Siege Onager for 9-2. And this is what, turn five? Uh, yes. Yeah, okay. And I'm done. Okay. Go ahead and play this spirit. Okay, turn four for that. It's cost N, where N equals how many uh, soldiers I have. And I have three soldiers, so I have, I have three resources I can play. It. Go ahead and play him as my strategy card. Yeah. This isn't a strategy, this is being crucified. Okay, so it should be here. Yep. Sorry about that. Okay, so let's turn four with this guy. Okay. Here.